Hello. Hi, how are you guys doing? So, let's get started. I am making some Nefertiti and Africa shape coasters. Um, they're kind of small, but I really like playing with them. Um, yeah, so first things first, you mix your resin. I decided to use Envirotex light you can find at michael's it's in the purple box and the dark purple box not the light purple box the light purple box sucks all right so i use casting craft white and then that is some bria reese alcohol ink um i think it was fog so i wanted it to be like a smoky color because um there's the black um alcohol ink but i don't think i used that well we'll see so i wanted like a foggy color you know that casting craft sinks to the to the bottom that's the crown of I always forget if it's crown made crown made black pearl and you see that I mixed it in the same cup I put the alcohol ink in and then like right there I realized like oh crap I just messed up so I poured it more I put more um, alcohol ink in another cup anyway so I don't know if you guys seen the flower techniques that people use with the casting craft. They make like little designs and it just comes out so cool. So I didn't mix that alcohol ink good enough because you can see like the streaks. Um, yeah, you can see that. Yeah, you can see uh, that I did not mix it well. But that's okay. That's fine because I'm going to pour on top of that. Like I said, I wanted a smoky kind of look for these coasters. Now... The mold isn't that big, so I didn't really have much room to um, do what I what I really wanted to do. But this was an experiment; it was fun. Um, I think I think I'm I'm gonna give these away to a friend who just moved into her new house. I think it'll be a cool, cute little gift. So yeah, you can really tell in that last Africa coaster mold down there that I really didn't mix it well, but whatever. It's fine. Um, the resin's mixed. Yes, the resin is mixed. But the alcohol ink being mixed in within the mixed resin wasn't uh, mixed well. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, I used the casting crab. And the I like the effect that you get when you pour resin first. And then you pour some mica powder mixture on top it's, it gives you like a, a cloudy, kind of like brains. I know that sounds crazy, gross, nasty, whatever. But it looks like brains. I don't know. <laughs> it looks really cool, though. I really like the way it looks. So I decided to do that on the outside. And then on the inside, kind of drizzle, sprinkle some casting craft in the middle. Because, you guys, it's going to sink right to the bottom. And then it's going to create like a really cool... Uh, effect it's hard for me to explain but like I said if you've seen the flower technique then this is basically it but just kind of like lines go going back and forth um, I've tried the flower thing and I'm not very good at it because I don't really have a steady hand maybe one day I'll, I'll get it but uh, yeah anyway so I'm just going back and forth just kind of drizzling the cast and craft mixture and now I didn't really if you saw I didn't really use that much it doesn't take that much uh, casting craft to um, mix in your resin you just need like a pin drop not really that much so you see how it kind of sunk in the middle and then kind of gathered in the middle there I should have took a toothpick and kind of like dragged a line up before it um, cured also you guys clean your molds because this is ridiculous I shouldn't have to deal with that Oh, yeah, so, I mean, it kind of looks cool. You see what I mean with the brain brainy effect? But, um, yeah, I didn't clean my mold, so there was, like, little pieces of resin that I had to pull off. I'm going to have to sand that later because I didn't like the how, um, how it felt. It was just too rough. All those freaking drips on the side from previous ones and for the one that I just did. So, you just use some duct tape, clean it off. So, I mean, it's kind of cool because I like the other side. Thankfully, this mold is right side up, so you can kind of have what you want 
the mold to look like afterwards or before. Did that make any sense? Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.